So we've got three forces in equilibrium here. Okay, We've got uh, the 100 newtons, the A newtons, and the B newtons. Um, so what we want to do is find the values of A and B. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop perpendiculars for these so that I can get them into component form. So for this one, uh, for this force here, we're going to have A cosine 10 and A sine 10 for the adjacent and opposite. For this force, we're going to have B cosine 65 and B sine 65 for the adjacent and opposite. Over here, we're going to have 100 cosine 25 and 100 sine 25. Okay, just rewrite that. There we are. Okay. <laughs> I keep missing. Here we go. Let's have another go. I can draw an N. There we are. So we're done. Ready. Okay, so I am going to resolve this uh, horizontally first, I think. It doesn't really matter which I do first. I'm going to go for horizontally first. Taking to the right as positive. So I've got the A cos 10. I've got the B cos 65. And I'm working against me is this 100 cos 25. They've all got to combine to make zero. OK. So um, I'm going to leave, well, let me write, rewrite that as A cos 10 plus B cos 65 equals 100 cos 25 for the moment. OK. And now I'm going to resolve vertically. I'm going to take up as positive. OK. So we've got A sine 10. We've got 100 sine 25. And we've got, working against us, B sine 65. And that's got to be equal to 0. So I'm going to rewrite that as A sine 10, take away B sine 65, uh, is equal to minus 100 sine 25. So what we've got here are two simultaneous equations with two unknowns, the A and the B. Okay. Now, trying to use our tried and trusted methods of um, the elimination method is going to be fiddly. Okay. So if you were going to do this algebraically, the only way to do it right would be to rearrange one of these to get A equals substitute it into the other one, then you can rearrange to get B, and then you can find A. OK, that's the only way to do it algebraically. Alternatively, we've got a calculator that can solve simultaneous equations. So it would be good practice to check that you can do this algebraically, but I'm just going to go straight into the, cal the uh, simultaneous equation solver. OK, so we're going to go into menu. And then we want to go into A for equation function. Simultaneous equation number one. And the number of unknowns is two. So I'm going to use A as the x and B as the y. So we've got cosine of 10 times the x. So you should get 0.9848 up here. Cosine of 65, 0.4226, A is equal to 100 times cosine of 25, 90.63. Now for the next line, sine of 10, uh, 0.1736. We've got minus uh, sine of 65, so minus 0.9063, and minus 100 times sine of 25, which is minus 42.26. Press equals. And we get 66.5 to 3 sig fig for A, for the X, and for the Y, for B, 59.4, 59.38. So 59.4 to 3 sig fig. Okay, 
So they are the values of A and B that would be required to hold this particle in place in equilibrium.